Hello everyone, let's get the pleasantries out of the way. Spring is here, okay? And you know what that means. It's time for a little wardrobe refresh. There are some clothes in my closet that feel a little stagnant, that need a little sprucing up, need a little bit of spice. I'm gonna be crafting, doing my little crafty thing. You should grab a snack or grab a craft and let's craft together. Okay, let's start easy. Let's start light. I have this beautiful vest it is so splendid in every single way the issue with this vest is that there's no buttons or any way to close it and i feel like this vest would look better more as a shirt than a vest it needs to be closed to give me that like instagram fairy look i'm not gonna be adding buttons because that's a lot of admin but I did go to the craft store and there was a sale on ribbon. Thinking of just sewing on some ribbon to the vest and that's how it will close with a cute little bow. Okay, now I have to get out my sewing machine. Okay, so here I'm just trying on the vest and then just pinning where I want my ribbon to go. Shoot, I need scissors. Oh, here they are, great. I love just having random craft supplies in like every room in my house, this is great. I'm just gonna make this like really long and then if I need to, make it short i will why did i cut two? Oh, for either side okay good it's already getting a little feral in here i can smell it don't be stupid i don't want to be responsible for you doing stupid things with lighters i'm just using the lighter so i can stop the edges of the ribbon from fraying okay one two three four boop, 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 boop. that's it that's all you have to do doing it to each side Boop. That's it. That's all you got. That's all you got to do. Okay, please don't burn down my house. Now I'm ready to sew with these little ladies on the vest. <laughs> okay, I would like the record to state that I do fully have a desk that I could be doing this at, but I don't want to change my lighting setup. This is the most unefficient way I've ever done something ever. Get out of here. Oh, sh that was not part of the plan. Sick. Here's what this is like looking like so far. I think the ribbon is too white. And I don't know if I like the placement of the ribbon. I feel like I should put it a little bit lower down or maybe I should do two ribbons, right? This was supposed to be the easiest project. Okay, wait, because, hold on. This is a white, it's too white. This is the mauve, yeah, like that. Okay, let me change everything. Okay, new game plan, new game plan, new game plan. I think I'm gonna add two ribbons instead of one. I am using very precise units of measurements here, people. Oh my gosh, I hate wasting thread and I feel like that's all I do when I sew is just like waste thread. Like how does one like not waste copious amounts of thread like i don't know come on girly i feel like i did this way worse this time than i did the first time let's see if we need another ribbon which i feel like we will pink is always the right answer oh my gosh should have done pink from the beginning i'm never not using the color pink ever let me just like clean this girl up a little bit and then we'll style her and then on to the next project Picking out an outfit for this was like so hard. So this is the best I could do. It's giving Oktoberfest. <laughs> I think the idea that I'm going for is there, but I kind of think that this wants to be a corset. I feel like I should have added just like grommets on either side of the vest and laced it up with a ribbon. That would have taken this vest to like the next level. Those are my notes. I do have some notes on this one. Okay, let's do a project that requires mm, a little a little less admin uh, than that last one. Some fun pieces of jewelry that I just wanna like spruce up a little bit. The first necklace I kind of wanna dissect is this just like beautiful beaded necklace. This is a little too long for like the style I'm trying to go for. So I wanna like crop it just like a little bit just so that way it could like 
fit in with like my necklace stack that I already have going on. So yeah, and then with all the other pieces, I can make some matching earrings or like a little bracelet or something. Let's get into some dissection of some necklaces. Okay, so I tried on the necklace. I figured out how long I wanted it to be. And then I just connected the necklace in that spot to hold my place. And then I'm gonna leave a few extra beads at the end of the necklace. So I have two different length options. We love options. And because the beads aren't attached via wire or string, they're literally just all clasped together. I can just take them off wherever I want to, which is great. So I'll take off the excess beads that I don't want on the necklace. Then I'm gonna add a large or jump ring just right at the very end of the necklace and these mini pliers i mean they're such a lifesaver like i really need to just have another set and just keep it in my purse because these pliers have saved me from so many jewelry emergencies anyway now i'm gonna add another jump ring right where i put my necklace clasp my little placeholder so i just take apart the necklace add my jump ring and then just connect all the parts of the necklace to the jump ring and so now i have an easily findable designated spot for my necklace clasp so I know what lengths I like and that's pretty much the necklace but I do have a bunch of leftover beads so let's make some matching earrings I don't want to disturb the design too much so I'm just gonna take off two separate chunks of beads which chunks is an awful word I'm so sorry um and then I have these really cute stud balls and I don't even have to add a jump ring I can just attach the beads directly onto the stud which is great and bada bing bada boom i have matching earrings but i still have some extra beads left over and i really don't want to waste this necklace and i don't want this necklace just rotting in my bead stash the beads that i do have left over are literally so close to becoming a bracelet like it wants to be a bracelet so badly but it just doesn't fit around my wrist completely so i have some pearls that look almost identical to the white beads that i have so i'm just gonna pop a couple of the pearls onto these eye pins and then using my pliers i just like roll roll up the other side of the eye pin so that way I have like circles on either side. I don't really know jewelry terminology, I'm so sorry. I'm basically just making these like little pearl beads so that way I can just add them to either side of the bracelet. And then after I add all my little pearl bead thingies, put one jump ring at the end of the bracelet. I could literally only find silver bracelet clasps. So hopefully nobody looks at my wrist super closely. Let's just pretend that this is gold and that it matches. I add a little bracelet clasp to the other end of the bracelet and now I have like a full jewelry set. So let's go style this. I think that this jewelry that I made is everything that I love. It's a perfect blend of retro and modern. I think that this is going to be a staple in my closet for sure. 10 out of 10 craft. I can just feel it in my bones that like these will be staple pieces that I will be wearing for a long time. I have another like jewelry centric project. All over my Pinterest, I, I've been pinning watches that look like this. And so when I found this little cutie little number at the thrift store, I was like, okay, I need her, but I don't really wear watches. I like, I don't have an Apple watch, no Fitbit, like, sorry. I've been seeing on the interwebs, the girlies have been wearing watches as chokers. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this watch into a choker, okay? That's what's happening right now. Let's go. So I started off by cutting a piece of this chain that I just measured ear to ear. So hopefully this is going to fit well. Um, also, don't look at the rust of my wire cutter, okay? This is my old reliable and he's been through a lot. I'm gonna cut the chain that I just measured in half so it can go on either side of the necklace. And of course, my cat is super interested in what I'm doing because she wants a matching necklace as well. It's time to break out the jump rings and and luckily enough, this watch has some nice areas to secure said jump rings. I decided to add two jump rings instead of one because just adding one jump ring just looked too flimsy and two jump rings just made it look more cohesive. And that's that. But then on the other side of the watch, it's a little more awkward. And I tried so hard to find a little itty bitty teeny tiny polka dot bikini screwdriver small enough so I could undo 
and take off some of the awkwardness um but i was unsuccessful in that so i'm just gonna have to like settle and you know pick the most unawkward place to attach the jump rings you know i can only do so much i'm not a jeweler i am but a girl okay and then after i attach the other chain to the watch it's time to attach the clasp and the only gold clasps i have are huge and i do that on purpose because i loathe little teeny tiny clasps that you have to like struggle to open and yeah that's literally it we're literally done with the project so let's try this puppy on i feel like this one is a total sleigh i've made watch necklaces before and i feel like you just need to pick the right watch some watches i don't believe are worthy of becoming necklaces but this isn't just a watch like this is jewelry so i think it really translates well to a necklace i really like this and i think that this is a really cool and unique piece so super happy with it why is it that whenever i film outside it's windy and there's a thousand airplanes like why why why, why are you doing this to me okay one last project this one's kind of a doozy this is a little grandpa sweater it is just frumptina it is a frumpy little sweater and i just cannot style it in a way that looks cute so my idea my evil plan is to turn this frumpy grandpa sweater into like a super cute copenhagen fashion influencer cardigan so we're gonna turn a sweater into a cardigan are we ready to get the scissors out? Because I'm not, I'm really scared. It's time to chop. Okay, I tried it on. I'm gonna take six inches off of the bottom first, then cut down the center, then cut off the collar. Kavish? I have this handy dandy six inch ruler which I used as my guide to chop the bottom off the sweater and surprisingly I think I did a good job at cutting a straight line. Next is the scariest chop but I figured out that I can just follow the little X's on the argyle pattern and it would end up being perfectly center so that went surprisingly well. Okay it's done. What's done is done. You know, when cutting into anything, it's good to give off fake confidence because the scissors and the fabric can smell fear. And then I cut off the trim of the neckline just because I want the new trim that I'm adding to be the same all around the sweater. Yeah, like this is so effing cute already. This is perfect. I think I cut it the perfect length too. Wow, I'm so proud of my cutting skills with this one. I am going to be a bit extra here and just reinforce all the raw edges with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. And the zigzag stitch wound up being a very helpful guide for me when I started to crochet the new trim. Okay, let's get to crocheting. I'm gonna have to play around with this for a little bit and then I will update you on what I wind up doing. I wound up using two different size crochet hooks. I used my 3.5 millimeter for the collar and I used the 3.75 millimeter for everything else. So I wound up choosing this acrylic alpaca blend yarn and I chose two different colors. The lighter color will be for the collar and the opening and then the darker color will just be for the bottom of the trim. So I wanted to break up doing the trim in different sections. So I started off with the collar and I literally just stabbed my hook underneath the zigzag stitches in the sweater. The zigzag stitches were a great guide showing me where to put my hook. I wound up doing a single crochet instead of a slip stitch because the single crochet really like encased the raw edge and this will be like my base row for the trim. So then I started doing some crochet ribbing and listen the crochet girlies love the details so let me just break down the details real quick. What I did is I chained seven and then I single crocheted down the row slip stitched twice into my base row and then I turned my work skipped over the slip stitches and back loop only single crocheted up the row chain one and then I repeated that in like so many of my crochet tutorials I go over this more in depth but that is the gist of how I do my crochet ribbing so yeah here's the finished collar it's looking really really nice so now I'm moving on to the opening of the sweater where I basically did the exact 
same technique. I'm just using a 3.75 crochet hook now. If I did this again, I would definitely do the bottom of the sweater first and then the opening, but that's not what I did. So I'm just gonna have to like go with the flow on that. Here's what it's looking like. And I'm just gonna do a super little trim just right on the bottom um, because I really like the length that it is right now. So I'm gonna do the bottom trim right now. I am in the home frickin' stretch. This is what the bottom is looking like. My brain is turning into mush. I think I need to just make some ties. And here's what the ties wound up looking like. It's literally just like a crocheted rectangle. But as you can see, there's some puckering that's starting to happen around the trim. Um, so now it's time to block. This is a wool sweater, so I submerge it in lukewarm water and a little bit of like a non-harsh detergent. And then I just let it soak for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'll dry it and then I'll lay it out on my foam board and I'll just pin it in place using my little T-pins and then I'll let that dry. And it literally took like four days to dry but it really do be like that sometimes anyway I'm finally done with the sweater so let's style this bad boy wow this turned out so good I've literally been wearing it since I finished making this I just wanted to pair this outfit super simple and like how I will be mm, probably wearing this a majority of the time and then I also styled this a different way a little bit more like dressed up like going to the grocery store outfit so much cuter than the frumpy little crew neck that she used to be. She's so beautiful now. Anyway, that's it for this video. You know the drill. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you're crafting in the comments below. I love to chit chat. Bye.